All right, so with Edward Tufte in mind, I'd like to show you an interesting way of visualizing data in a histogram. So I'm going to be using the ODBC connection to pull data from my database. So I'm going to start by opening up Microsoft Query. Select the data source. I then need to select the table and subsequent columns that I want to add to the query. So I need state, number of orders, and zip code. So in this example, I really only care about the state number of orders and population. However, I need to include the zip code as well because that's used to relate the two tables to one another, which you'll see in just a minute. And so I need to filter out all blank values for the state. So it's not null. And does not equal So now I need to add the zip code table. So data from other sources, Microsoft Query, select the data source. Zip code, state, population. All right, so if you ever use Power Pivot before, you will love this. So click on one table, and then insert a pivot table, and then choose to add this table to the data model. And so now I can relate these two tables. So here's the two tables, and I can relate them. So now I'm just going to relate the zip code to zip code. And now I just need to create the pivot table like normal. So state population. and then number of orders. And I want to go ahead and filter by number of orders. Okay, so now to graph the data, you want to open up the recommended charts, select combo, then you want to move the population to the secondary axis. I'm going to change the chart type to area. I'm also going to change the chart type of the orders to column and click OK. So I'm going to change the design to have the legend at the bottom. And then I'm going to remove all of the field buttons. I'm going to go ahead and remove the chart title for now. So it's a little bit difficult to read at this point even if I expand it out. So I'm just going to include the top 20 or so states by orders. So you want to right click, go to sort, or I'm sorry, go to filter, keep selected items. I'm going to add commas in the here, make the data a little bit easier to read. And then I'm going to remove the decimal places. Okay, so now you have a nice visual 
and if you need more information like the population of New Jersey which is hidden you can refer back to the table here so you can see there's plenty of room for growth in California Texas Florida and various other states obviously so it appears that much of their current sales activity and perhaps marketing as well is in the Northeast. You get New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, etc. So now that the uh, hard part is done, there's still more data to clean up and visually a title should be added and you could probably uh, mess with the legend a little bit. But I'll let you be the judge of how best to do that. So I'll see you next time. Thanks.